So I'm training for a race against the steam train next week. Um, I don't know how fast I'll be able to go, but I'm gonna try and do at least 10 miles today, um, maybe push it up to 13 if I can, just to try and um, get some miles in my legs, but um, we'll see, see what I can do. I've got all my lip stuff on and um, I dressed up warm. So um, I'm gonna give it a go and just see, see what I can do today, ready for next weekend. All right, wish me luck, bye. So I meant to film this before I went, but um, I didn't quite have time this morning. So I'm back from the event now. I just thought I'd um, film some of the, the gear that I've got. Um, these shoes are amazing. They're sort of um, ASICs, ASICs, um, like they're trail running shoes. They're just more, much more solid um, and firmer than my road running shoes. Um, so they were really good. Um, and I got some waterproof socks, some seal skin socks. They're, they're not real seal skin. It's just um, plastic, but they're just called seal skin. Um, and I thought I'd be running through loads of puddles, so I thought I'd, it could be, you know, within being in February, it could be really wet everywhere. So I thought I'd be prepared, but as it turns out, and you can see on my shoes, it was it was, it was okay everywhere. It was just little bits of mud, but um, they soon came off on the, the dry bits. Um, and I just wore this around the, the course, um, just a little rucksack. So I had um, my, I had just a little bit of Lucas Aid in there just for when I finished, and some Jelly Babies um, just when I finished. Um, and I just uh, put uh, my car key on a carabiner, carabine, I'm not sure quite how you say it, but just um, attached in there so it wouldn't fall out, um, just with some waterproof bags in case um, I needed to um, keep my phone um, uh, dry, but it was okay in the end. And then I just had like my card and some cash in these pockets. So it's a really good lightweight bag. Um, and then I have my uh, race number on the back. It's got like a little barcode chip. On it which is really cool so it just like um, has all your data and um, it records your start and finish time and then in the, the top of it um, I just had some some spare bits just in case um, didn't need those luckily and the course information and then I just had um, my uh, coat my lightweight waterproof coat in the back um, just if I needed it but I didn't end up needing it in the end um, and yeah um, I have to wear like a bandana because <laughs> because where I've got no hair, <laughs> when um, when I get a bit sweaty, it just all runs straight in my eyes and just stings and makes them blind. So I have to wrap that and around my head um, just to sort of stop everything and um, and put a woolly hat on as well. And then this is the really cool medal. Um, it wasn't actually half marathon length, but um, they only had this medal. Um, it was only sixteen kilometers, ten miles. But um, yeah, it's quite a cool uh, wooden medal. So yeah, so. Right, let's see how the race went itself. Let's go. So I'm here in Swanage, I'm just um, walking down there towards the seafront just to drop off my bag and make a start. So let's give it a try. I'm going to try and not go too fast. <laughs> I don't think I can go too fast just mainly uphill so I just want to complete it rather than be really quick <laughs> so I'm going to try and give that a go. Right, wish me luck. Here we are looking down on doorstep. There's a swan edge around the corner. There's old Harry's rocks down here. Just making our way down to them. Right, gotta make sure. I get the right path in the course, but 
<laughs> Smells very fragrant in there. <laughs> Definitely in the countryside. Ooh. Deadly gun down and gun up. Stay careful down. Going hard. Finally see Cork Castle in the distance. I'm getting there. Bloody hell. Last little bit. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. There's Cork Castle in the distance and there's a puff of uh, steam train smoke. So I'm getting there. Let's race the train. Come on. Do this. <laughs> I think this is the finish. There we go, super pleased with that, about one hour 57, something like that. So um, yeah, it went loads better than I thought it would. Um, the hills were really hard, but I kept going and it was um, it was all right. I don't feel too bad, I feel okay. So um, I'll show you, I'm just at the train station. I'll show you now, the train's in about half an hour, I might go get a cup of tea, but yeah, woohoo. So I'll catch the steam train in a bit. I think there's teas, coffees and things. So um, I'll have a chill for 20 minutes, half an hour. Got some free socks and a bandana and some orange juice and things, so just gonna refuel and picked up my bag from the bag drop. So have a cup of tea and um, yeah, chill out on the platform. Wait a bit. This one's not for me. Hoping ours is a steam train. Be cool. Got some jelly babies and I'll have a cup of tea just to get some calories back in me. Knock it. <laughs> Cork Castle in the background as well. Woohoo! Cheers. I carried a mini bottle of Lucas Aid round, so I think I'll, I'll have that now just to get a bit of sugar in me. <laughs> Right, let's go get some uh, some fish and chips maybe. Let's get some fish and chips. So I'm just doing what all athletes do after a race, which is get some fish and chips. Yes, mate. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat these and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a funny view of Swanage, but it should be nice. All right, let's tuck in. All right, let's walk back to the car. Let's go home, really pleased with that. Pretty tired now, but let's drive back to Froome. Right, see you later.